concept of direct care implies to care for, to do for, that sympathy. The men, women, and children who we support do not want or need our sympathy. To care about is to do with, that's empathy. So we are there to provide support. Our staff are teachers, mentors, allies, coaches, shapers, crafters, molders of lives. Huge difference than the old concept of direct care. I do not provide training for the supervisors of direct care staff, nor do I provide training for direct care staff. I used to do that, I don't do that anymore. I only involved in the training of people who wish to be teachers and mentors and allies and coaches and shapers and crafters and molders of lives. That's it, okay? If people wanna be a direct care staff, they need to go get a job in a nursing home, an assisted living arrangement, or be working in the home health care industry, because that is a totally different field than I'm involved in. I see, I see the agencies where, where you have these issues of abuse, neglect, scaldings in bathtubs, serious uh, self-injurious behavior, people running out into traffic getting hit by cars, and you go back and you look at what in the world could have prevented it, and almost every time, if we had people in there coaching those staff to be more effective, it never would have happened. Prompt, prompt, prompt. Get people to think, to process. And here's the next reason. This is important. Proposition is more effective than imposition. I screw it up. I do. I mean, even though I can tell you the right thing to do, my conduct is not always consistent. I understand it. But no one should be able to ever point to any of us and say that we're not really trying. You may not get it right, but try. And I look at them. I look at the oven. The staff's looking at me. She's thinking, what in the world? He wants me, I know what they're thinking, to have him put his hands in the oven to take out the, the cookie sheet? Here's the issue. Guess what the home manager has decided? The only thing they have to remove items from the oven is, guess what? A hot pad. They won't even provide the staff with oven mitts. Now remember, that go up to the elbows. Who are the oven mitts for? The supports are not for the men and women who are being supported. They are devices intended to communicate to staff what their job is. So that when we make a decision that we will not provide oven mitts that go up to the elbow, we have communicated to the staff that it, it's your job to get these items out of the oven. It's not your job to assist these folks how to take the items out. And there isn't anyone in here who hasn't heard of oven mitts up to the elbow. You can go to any cooking store, then they have them. But that's another decision that they've made. That's what that says to staff. I used to think the word celebrate had something to do with holidays. So help me. I didn't know you could celebrate things in life. I had no idea. You do understand, because I was trained as a radical behaviorist, what word used to be up there. I mean, that's obvious. Reinforce. I didn't use the word celebrate. What's reinforced? Contrived, scheduled, contingent. Celebrate, heartfelt, sincere, emotive, spontaneous. Celebrate people.